Too much McNeil. Uh, yeah, he played played a great basketball game against us. Uh, you know, Sadiel, we finally made the adjustment, put him on him. He slowed him down a little bit, but uh, you know, he got feeling really good. And uh, you know, that's a good basketball team. They're not, uh, you know, got the best record in the league, and we went toe to toe with them. Uh, disappointed that we put him to the foul line so many times. Uh, we just we were playing with our hands instead of our feet at the defensive end of the floor. And, and uh, anytime team gets the line 41 times, it's going to be tough to beat them. Um, we hung in there because we created some turnovers and got out in transition, but we didn't shoot the ball very well. Um, that's I don't know if that's a credit to their defense or our shot selection. I'm not sure, but uh, one thing I will never question with this team is our effort. I was really proud of how hard we played. Um, you know, to go toe to toe with this team is a good testament of where we're at. Disappointed in the loss, but proud of, proud of the progress we've made. And we just got to put this behind us and got a big weekend coming up with three on the road. Uh, if we can go on the road and get two out of three this weekend, put ourselves back at 500 and, and still have, uh, you know, five home games left. So, um, you know, we can't sit and hang our heads after this loss. Uh, we just got too much on the line. So we'll take tomorrow off, get healed up a little bit, come back and go to work Tuesday and then hit the road and, and uh, try to steal some games on the road, which we have to do. Is this where the psychologist part of your job starts coming into this kind of thing where you've got those three games and you not a lot of time to make, make up the ground you have to make up? Well, we just got to take one game at a time. I mean, it's an old cliche that you use all the time, but it's very true. And, we, you know, we don't change what we're doing uh, as preparation-wise or anything like that. We're not going to push a panic button. Um, you know, this group's come a long ways from where we started the year, um, but we're not where we want to be, you know. And uh, I don't know if, if we're a playoff caliber team. I think we are, and we dug ourselves too deep a hole early in the year. But I know one thing, we won't quit till the last whistle of the last game. Coach, you alluded to this already, but when you're in a tight playoff race like this, do you take moral victories out of, out of games like this? or do you just be I never take moral victories, ever, ever. This is pro basketball, you're paid to win, you're paid to play hard. And that's the one thing that I've been proud of. I think we, all season long, I think we've only had one game where we didn't show up, and that was just for a half. So as long as we continue to play hard and those guys leave everything they have on the Coliseum court, I'll, ne I'll never question you know question them and that's all I can ask out of you know sometimes it, we might not be as talented as the other team but as long as we compete um, that's that's what I'm looking for you know it's my job to work to get us ready and prepared to play and it's their job to get on the court and do the job and and, and I'll like I said I'll never question the heart of this group he wasn't shooting that great tonight but Ron got a good look at the end of regulation. That yeah, and we hit. didn't quite execute it as clean as we should have. If we would have it's ran in a the way we were supposed to, I think he would have got a better look. But, um, you know, we, were gonna, we had him coming up, and we had another screen coming with Tony off of it if they jumped on Ron. But uh, we just didn't get a clean screen on him. They did a good job of, of jumping out on it. But, hey, we had the last shot of regulation. It made a great defensive stand to get there. So.